shit on the poop chat too. Come on. Fuck the show. Shalom to the brothers and sisters, man. Just sharing this video real quick, and we'll open up. Lord willing, brothers and sisters are doing all right today. Tune in live. World War Three. Brother, see what's going on in the world, man. A lot of prophecy, a lot of things taking place. Um, I copied the link if you want to drop it in the chat. Yeah, I'll do that. And then we'll um, go ahead and open up. Um, you know, all praises to you, how me, how was shot, man. One day closer to the kingdom of heaven, as we was just saying. You know, you see the title of the lesson, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. Uh, the third woe cometh quickly, World War Three. You know, we are at the end of this thing, man. You know, we just recently did a lesson on the way here about the kingdom of heaven is closer than what we can imagine. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, where the prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do indeed teach and rule out peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. All right, I'm the brother of Baal Gabar. Brother Daniel Allah. Tazim Al-Kamal. Brother Ashur. All right, we got the brothers here with us today, man. Brothers, uh, uh, prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. Uh, Shar, if you could actually grab that video and play that, we'll go ahead and play that to start it up. And then we'll get into these scriptures, man. We're at the end, man. You see wars, rumors of wars. You see what's going on with Russia, Ukraine. You see what's going on with China, linking up with Russia. You know, you got all these different nations gathering up on nuclear missiles. Why is that? Because biblical prophecy is unfolding. Go ahead, Malak. This week, President Zelensky of Ukraine gave an interview to the left-wing newspaper, The Guardian. And in it, he casually called for the United States to nuke Vladimir Putin. Quote, the other nuclear states need to say very firmly that as soon as Russia even thinks of carrying out nuclear strikes on foreign territory, in this case the territory of Ukraine, there will be swift retaliatory nuclear strikes to destroy the nuclear launch sites in Russia. Parse that. And we're quoting, as soon as Russia even thinks of carrying out nuclear strikes, meaning before Russia actually launches missiles, the U.S. needs to launch nuclear weapons against Russia. In other words, we need to launch nuclear weapons now. Why now? And how do we know that's what Zelensky meant? Because Zelensky was responding to this warning from the Russian government on Wednesday. Watch. I want to remind you that our country also has various means of destruction and for separate components and more modern than those of NATO countries. And when the territorial integrity of our country is threatened to protect Russia and our people, we will certainly use all means at our disposal. It's not a bluff. It's not a bluff, says Putin, who we are told is insane. So we probably should take it seriously. He is, after all, running a country with the largest nuclear arsenal on the planet. And he's talking about using nuclear weapons if the West continues to threaten Russia's territorial integrity. It's a conditional warning. And of course, threatening Russia's territorial integrity was never part of the deal, right? You remember this. It's why you wore a Ukrainian lapel pin or put a Ukrainian flag in front of your house. Ukraine was invaded. The point was to kick the Russians out. That seems reasonable by any standard of fairness and decency. But that's not what the Biden administration is pushing for. They're pushing for toppling the government of Russia and once again hoping that everything will be fine after, that someone better will somehow take over. He's bad, let's kill him. Heard that story before? So in response to what Putin just said, Ukraine's government called for an immediate nuclear attack on Russia, an attack that would, without question, result in the immediate destruction of New York, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, the deaths of tens of millions of Americans. That's what he just said. Sane people do not talk this way, ever. If there was a moment for the Biden administration to shut this whole thing down and force a negotiated peace, which they could do in an instant, that moment is right now, before huge numbers of people die. But that's not what the Biden administration is doing. They're moving in the other direction at high speed and doing all they can to bring the West to the brink of destruction. All right, so there you have it. Beautiful, <clears throat> the water, Malak. You know, uh, Russia said, you know, they not bluffing, man. You know, they got the largest number of nukes on Earth today, and they are not playing around, man. That's right. They are not playing around, and Russia is going to be a major part in World War Three. World War Three is about to take place. 
World War III is biblical prophecy. It's written in the scriptures, meaning it's going to happen. There's no way around it. So now is the time to repent. Seek Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found, while the prophets are on the scene. You know, call upon the name of the Lord while he is near, because America is about to melt, okay? Recently, me and the brother just recently went to a, um, a video about how Russia, a Russia commander was talking about he's going to make the concrete melt here in America, man. So right now we're hearing rumors of wars. Um, brother, you got that scripture, Matthew 24? If you want to grab that, we can, oh, we can uh, go, go to that. Because we're hearing the rumors of wars taking place all over the earth. And it's going to lead to great death and destruction, you know, that this world has never seen before. This is how the Lord is coming back with fire. He said, I come to send fire on the earth. So, brothers, we don't got much longer here, man. You know, now is the time to, you know, hack away at all your sins you may have. Get right with the Lord. Now is not the time to be complacent, to be sitting back and getting your ass beat by Satan every day. No, you got to be, uh, you know, getting better in the spirit, man. All right. Go ahead, Akko. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. So all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. All right? So at the end of the day, we're hearing the rumors of wars, but this is not the end. Ultimately, we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Um, Read it again, Huck. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, but for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yeah, yet. So the end is not yet because we see we still need to see the MOTB. All right. The Karagma. All right. The implantable CHIP, which is coming very soon. All That's right. Fine. You got um, Baba Kusha, if you can pull up on my IG my recent post about, um, I believe it's Europe doing away with the cash coming uh, like in the next two or two days or something like that. They're doing away with the uh, $20 bill and the $50 bill, man. So there's this, this whole world is slowly getting rid of cash and it's going to bring in the MOTB, man. All right. We, we, we just read the scripture, brother brought it out. You shall hear wars and rumors of wars, but the end is not yet. All right, so there's still prophecies that need to take place, and one of the major prophecies is the uh, karagma. All right, the implantable uh, CHIP. Yeah. Right. Badge yourself too. You talking about England? Yeah. The what is it? Yep. Note? Yep. Go ahead. You can just read uh, uh, the, the caption. Yeah. All right. The title reads: It says Bank of England says paper banknotes only good for one more week. What? Let's read that again. Bank of England says paper banknotes only good for one more week. Paper banknotes, the $20 banknote and the $50 banknote only good for one more week over there in England. Why is that? Because everything's going digital, okay? They're about to usher in the MOTB, the Karagma, which is going to lead to more riots, protests, wars. And ultimately, in the midst of... All of this taking place when the Karagma comes out, the CHIP, that's when nukes are going to fly, man. All right? So the Bank of England, man. All right? That's coming to America very soon. What, 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 what was it? December 13th, I believe it was. Biden, you know, uh, signed an executive order about the central bank digital currency. Them getting, starting to get rid of cash here in America, man. All right? You still got the everyday American in fucking La La Land, you know? In the metaverse, in the matrix, still lost as hell. All right. Um, let me grab this real quick. This is uh, Joel chapter three and verse one. It says, "For behold, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem." So the Lord is letting up our captivity, man. You know, the Lord is uh, about to free us from this place, man. Hey, shalom to the brothers and sisters. You help me out, Shai Rabbi Thug. Be sure to uh, drop scriptures. We'll try to grab them as well. It says, I will also gather all nations. So you see all nations are being riled up right now, man. All right. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat, Jehoshaphat, <clears throat> and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. 
All right, so Israel has been scattered among all the nations right now, man. Executive order 14076. There you go, the water, Malak. 14076. Executive order signed by Biden, man. All right, it says, um, I will also gather all nations. So all the nations that fought against us, that's why you see Iran, you see China, you see the major uh, uh, war countries talking about war right now. All right, gathering together. You got Russia and China doing unite uh, uh, forces, man. You know, they're doing drills together. You also have recently Biden came out and he said, if China was to invade Taiwan, America will retaliate, man. All right, so this is about to take place, man. You know, great war, death, destruction, like never seen before, man. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations, so the Lord's going to fight for us. Did not these nations scatter us all to the four corners of the earth? That's one thing why the Messiah, um, you know, didn't come full five, six hundred years ago. Because we had to be scattered among all the nations first. Now that's taking place. You got the Israelites in China. You got Israelites in Iran. You got Israelites uh, in Russia. You got Israelites everywhere. So this deliverance is going <clears> to <throat> primarily take place here in America. But the deliverance is going to happen all over the earth. If you can um, grab in Matthew 24, he's going to send his angels to gather um, the elect from the four corners of the earth. You know, but it says um, Joel 3 and 3 and it says, and they have cast lots for my people. <laughs> right. They sold us into slavery, man. It says and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. OK, they was raping our women. Okay, primarily the so-called white man. All right, and the scriptures say, if Satan be divided against Satan, his kingdom shall surely come to an end. All right, so we're at the end of this man's ruling, man. This man's rulership, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, um, you got something? Yeah, yeah, I got a precept on the common board. Yeah, you can grab the precept on the common board. Uh, this from <clears throat> shop out of the twelve. I'm gonna grab the recent one, Revelation chapter seventeen, verse seventeen. For the Most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. Mm. Read that one more time. I'm going to say, for, for, for the Most High, Yahweh will have put in their hearts to fulfill his will. So the Most High is putting it in the hearts of these other nations to fulfill his will. And ultimately his will is nuclear destruction, man. Okay, that's what the Lord's will. The Lord's will is to utterly destroy America. Mystery Babylon the Great. So when you see Russia talking about this, uh, uh, using nukes in ch uh, China and uh, even America, the Lord is putting it in their mind to speak of these things, man. Go ahead, Ock. And to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast. Give their kingdom unto the beast, okay? Which the beast is uh, represent representing NATO and the EU today. Okay, this beast system, which is nothing but the Roman Empire revived. Okay, this is nothing but Rome all over again, man. This this infrastructure is built after the ways of Rome, man. Go ahead, Ark. Until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. Until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled, which ultimately is about to be fulfilled. We're at the last few seconds of this man's kingdom, man. We're seeing the downfall of this kingdom every single day. You go on the social media, you go on the IG, you go on YouTube. You go on YouTube, you see new videos coming out of the downfall of this place, man. All right? Uh, you got that scripture? Go ahead, my lot. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. He being Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the name of the Messiah. Okay, he's going to send Yahweh Shai back. Yahweh Shai is going to send his angels with a great voice of a trumpet. Go ahead. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So it was prophecy that we had to go into slavery and be scattered to the four corners of the earth until uh, ultimately, you know, the Lord came back and delivered us, man. All right. You know, so us being scattered to the four corners of the earth, that's biblical prophecy, man. You know, and now the scripture says that the Lord is going to gather us from the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, Let him know that we're doing a lesson. Go. 
Uh, you got a precept? Go ahead, my life. Uh, this is uh, the book of Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. Beautiful. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. The king's heart, the king's mind That's right. is in the hand of Yahweh. This goes to show you the power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Omnipotent power. So when you see these nations talking about war, rumors of wars, uh, Shalom, Brother Shaquat, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, Rakata. When you see these nations talking about war and stuff, ultimately the, the king's heart, the king's mind is in the hand of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so the Lord is the one that's putting it in the mind of Putin to talk about his nukes. The Lord is uh, the one that's putting uh, the thoughts in um, Biden's mind to say, hey, we're going to retaliate. If Russia uses nukes, we're going to retaliate. This is all the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. There's no escaping it. Romans 3 and 3, I believe it is. For what if some did not believe? Right. Shall their unbelief or the, uh, uh, make the the, uh, the the faith of the Most High God without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yahweh forbid. God forbid. So, so you got a lot of scoffers, mockers, bullshitters. You know that that, and really it's because Israel, two thirds of our people are settled on their leaves right now, man. They're settled. You know they they want to be here forever. But you got a lot of scoffers that oh well that the, well they've always been saying that they yeah but now they talking about pushing buttons, man. Now you see Russia and China getting together for war. You didn't see that 10 years ago. You didn't see that 15, 20 years ago. You see it now. That's right. You see Biden talking about pressing buttons. You see these nations talking about pressing buttons. Why? Because this shit is about to happen, man. Shit is about to hit the fan. Oh, uh, I got priests up on that. Oh, can I fucking just continue? Go ahead, finish it that. Says, it says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water he turneth he turneth it with whatsoever he will. So as the rivers of water, he turneth it wherever he will. Wherever the Lord wants you to go, that's where you're gonna go. And really, that's why the scriptures say, "No man knows the day uh, nor the hour, but the Father in heaven. He's the one that's controlling all of this, man. Through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shab, man." Oh, Khan, I was gonna say, man. Hey, it says the King's heart. Who's the King right now, man? Putin, Biden, all these other top top head of their nations. You know, the Lord is playing there in the mind, especially Putin. We want to shoot missiles. We want to shoot missiles. Mm -hmm. We want to shoot missiles. He got he got the uh, the uh, uh, finger itch. Right. His fingers itching, man, to press that button, Tr man. The trigger finger. He got the, his trigger fingers itching, man. Right. To right. press the to press that button, man. You know, and Putin is not fucking playing, man. Right. Putin got nukes, man. He got the Satan two missile, man. Come over here in you know fifteen minutes. <laughs> Hit New York in fifteen minutes. You know, they're not they're not playing. Putin's got missiles that can't be detected by any anti missile defense system. Man. That's right. You know, so Putin is is not fucking off. And really, it's not even Putin. It's really Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that gave this devil the technology to create the nukes, to create the Satan too. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to uh, press a button, turn two keys at the same time. Next thing you know, nukes is flying, man. All right. And this Satan 2 missile, I was actually just reading about it today. This Satan 2 missile has multiple warheads that can be dropped off at different positions. So imagine you got one missile coming and this one Satan 2 missile has 15 different warheads. One hits, one hits for DC, one hits for uh, uh, New York City, one hits for uh, different places all over, man. You know, the, hey, Putin is not fucking off, man. All right? And kind, I was going to say, hey... It was, uh, brother was talking about Jake, man. They they see all these things happening. This is a uh, Second Peter three and three. Knowing this first that there shall be coming the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Now where's the scoffers at now? <laughs> we're, we we're telling you uh, what things are going to happen. Now things are manifesting. Prophecy is manifesting. Where are the scoffers at now? Now Jake getting scared, man. That's that terror of the Lord, man. That's yeah, what? you you hearing crickets on a comic board now, man. Right, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll... Oh, kind of me interrupt. So, but you know, you see, they don't want to, but they still don't want to repent, man. They still don't want to repent, and that's you know, the Lord putting in their mind, hey, I'm gonna destroy your ass, man. <laughs> that's it. That's you know? it. Hey, because really, it's only for the elect, okay. you know. And it really, if you're not of the elect, nine times out of ten, you're gonna be a scoffer. Okay, you're gonna be someone that is rebellious. 
You know, you're, you're gonna, you're really, really the two thirds are the same ones that led Yahweh to be crucified back then, man. So, and Yahweh said, if the world hate me, know that, or if the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. It hate, it, this world hates, really, it don't hate us. It hates the name that we come in. This world hates that we're coming in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because when that name goes out into the earth, there's a different vibration. Even with all the all the kingdoms, okay. When uh, Daniel was cast into the lions, then he gave praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, you had Nebuchadnezzar say, "Hey, <laughs> you got the true God, all right? That's the real God." You know, Egypt. When Egypt happened, the, the name of the Lord went throughout the whole earth. Now we got the the uh, Urim and the Thurim. Now we got the unicorn. The internet. This video is going live on the www. World Wide Web and what's going out? The name of Yahweh Bashem Yo, Yahweh Shai, Shai, man. And people are in fear, man. It's a, that name is a terror unto the heathens, man. That's right. All right? What does his name mean? Yahweh. He is. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. He is. So all things bend to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There's no such thing as free will. All right? On a, on a small scale, I have, you know, the will to do this right now, but really, this is Yahweh's will. He put it in my mind to just do that. That's the power of the Lord, man. That's you right. know? Come on, I got a priest up on that. Hold on, let, let me grab grab this brothers real quick and then we'll go over there. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's what I was just talking about. The, the, the whole idea of free will, okay? Which, like I said, in a small sense, you have a free a free will on a on a, a small scale, right? To do certain things that you think you're doing by yourself, but really it's the Lord that put these thoughts in your mind, man. Omnipotent power, true power, and that's why Yahweh Shai himself said, "If you're of the elect, not one of your hairs on your head shall perish." That's right. He's gonna keep you out of all the harm's way. You know, he's gonna give his angels charge over you to to lead you. Ultimately into a chariot. All right, so brothers are not supposed to fear what's about to come, man. All right, go ahead, read it again, Malak. Man's goings are of Yahweh Bashim Yashad. How can a man then understand his own way? How can you understand your own way? So, really, these other nations, they think that, you know, Putin thinks he's doing something, Biden thinks he's doing something. No, you ain't doing shit, man. You ain't doing shit without the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashad. All right, uh, if you can pull up the comment board, I see a lot of comments going up. Uh, go ahead, uh, um, Malak. Yeah, you want it. Him yeah. Him, bring that one out first, though. Brother, Brother Shaquat, if you could bring that out, read it nice and loud, Brother <clears throat> Yeah. This one right here. Uh, <clears throat> this is Romans 9 and verse 19. Thou will say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? There you go. You, you want to break? You can break it down. Go on, yeah, so it says, Who has resisted the will of the Heavenly Father? Not one. You know, so everything that comes on this earth and everything that takes place on this earth, you know, it's all in the hand and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. That's it. You know, That's he, it. He, he controls life and death. So when you see people die, it's because of the Most High. When you see people live, it's because of the Most High. That's it. Who has resisted his will? Not one. You can't resist the will of Yahweh Shemel Yahweh Shah. Just like when someone's about to give the ghost dying on the ground, <clears throat> like PNB Rock, as a great example. You see all these people around him. That was his time. He was in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There was nothing nobody on earth could do to save that man. Okay? That was the Lord's will. Okay? So who can resist the Lord's will? Not one. Okay? And that's why we pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai keep us from the hour of temptation. Because you're not going to be able to keep yourself from the hour of temptation. Okay? Can, can someone grab the hour of temptation, Baba Kusha? That's going to come upon the whole earth. You know, the hour of temptation. You're not going to be able to just save yourself. You can't save yourself. The Lord has to deliver you. The Lord has to put an angel on you to, to help you resist. And if you don't have the, the, the uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on your side, he's going to lead you to the Karagma. That's the ultimate power of the Lord. You got that? Yeah. Go ahead, Malak. This is the book of Revelation, and on chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Because thou... Who? The elect. The hopeful elect right now. You have kept the word of his patience. Patience going to suffer. Brothers, is suffering beyond fucking belief here, man. Catching all different types of hell, man. From your job, from your woman, from your body, from, from everything. Everything around you. Allergies, you know. 
people at your people at your job giving you hell. You know, and then on top of that, you got to preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. So the Lord said what? Read it again. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Notice how it said, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Because you can't keep yourself from that hour, man. Everybody's going to be tested. The Lord is going to have to put a spirit on you to keep you from the hour of temptation, man. And it's only going to the only ones that the Lord is going to be with is the one that have kept the word of his patience, man. As the scriptures say, you know, because you have kept the word of my patience, I'm going to keep you from the hour of temptation. It's like a, a, a deal the Lord made with you. That's right. He said, look, you did this for me. I'm going to do this for you. If you didn't do this for me, shit, <laughs> I'm going to lead you to that karagma. All right. Go ahead, my luck. Which shall come upon all the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. What shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. What's going to come upon all the world? The karagma. The C-H-I-P. When this this uh, global economy goes down and they say, look, hey, we're done with cash. You got to take this thing in your hand, this tag. That's going to be a trial of your faith. And ultimately, the elect is going to be kept out of that. Because you have kept the word of the Lord's patience. But if you're not numbered amongst the elect, the Lord is literally going to lead you to that karagma, man. As the brother brought out earlier, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You can't. <clears throat> okay? Let's go ahead and grab some on a, a comment board. God, I'm going to grab uh, Romans 9.21 from Shapa of the 12. So this is the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 21. Have not the potter power over the clay. Hath not the potter power over the clay and that's one thing i used to do uh a while back because my mom actually used to be going to the whole the pottery and shit and she brought me there before so you would you would be at the spinning wheel and you have clay it starts as just a regular piece of clay you put it on the spinning wheel you put water on it and you can make anything you want out of this clay you can make a, a cup a vase whatever <clears throat> so half not uh, uh the uh potter power over the clay so me as the potter sitting at the, uh, the the spinning wheel, I have the power to do what I want with this clay. Well, that's the same thing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's the ultimate potter. Okay, he's the one that is in control of everything. Go ahead, read that again, my life. Romans nine twenty one. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Mm. What if the Most High willing to show His wrath? And to make his power known. What if? To make the Lord's power known, he made one unto honor, which is Israel. Okay? He made a lump unto honor, and he made a lump unto dishonor. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Go ahead. And endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Fitted to destruction. Who's fitted to destruction? Esau, Esau Edom, Edom, man. He was created to be destroyed, man. The Lord literally blessed this man with the sword so he can create mm -hmm. these nukes and ultimately destroy himself with the nukes, man. Okay? Was that it on that? No. Con, con, uh, yeah, that's more on that. And then, and then the rest of the vessels fit it for mercy. And yeah, yeah. That's Israel. That's Israel. Con. You know? To show the glory of the, the vessels fitted unto mercy, which is Israel. Okay? Yasharala. Starting with the elect. It all starts with the elect. Okay, because two-thirds of our people, they're going to die here in this land, man. All right? And the primary destruction is going to be them nuclear missiles, man. All right? Jake, a lot of Jake is going to die to death of the heathens, man. All right? You're going to have a lot of Jake that's going <clears> to <throat> die off in Jacob's trouble. But you're going to have a lot of Jake that get led to that karagma, man. And they're going to get them grievous sores, man. You got some more on there? Let me see. Uh, Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Whoever dies being innocent, man. Who dies being innocent? So when you have hundreds of, million, of millions of people dying, when you have hundreds of millions of people being melted to death, not one of them is innocent. Read that again. I... Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. All right. Or where, or where were the righteous cut off? Where were the righteous cut off? The righteous ain't going to be cut off. At the end of the day, the Lord is with his elect. Okay, from the greatest to the smallest of the, of the, the greatest to the smallest of the elect, the Lord is with you, brothers, man. 
with the uh, sisters, okay? The Ak Akiam and the Akwath, all right? You know, the Lord is with, with, with us, man. And we got to believe that. You have to believe that. The scriptures say you're going to be saved by your faith and by your works, by, by where you believe, man. All right? Um, let me see something real quick. Go ahead and read that, brother. Okay. This is Brother Ariel, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. Yahweh have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord have made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. So why was Esau created for that day of evil, man? To shoot these nuclear missiles off, man. All right, the lake of fire, the second death. This is all about to take place, man. Brothers, you're going to see the nukes flying in the sky. We're going to be praying, mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, Baba Kushatha, Palatnaya, mm -hmm. cause me to escape. That's right. You know, Hawashai now will deliver us. Baba Kusha, please. You know, and the Lord is going to come with them angels and going to be beamed up. Scripture says um, if someone can grab it um, by the skin of our teeth. Yeah, uh, uh, 1 Peter 4, 4 and 18. 1 Peter 4 and 18, I believe. Yeah, yeah after the house being judged. Mm -hmm. uh, the righteous scarcely be saved. Righteous scarcely be saved. All right. Yeah, First Peter four eighteen. So I'm gonna grab that. Well, I got this one real quick. This is Job nineteen and twenty. It says, "My bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh, and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth." So how are we gonna escape? We're gonna escape by the skin of your teeth. I Meaning you're barely gonna make it out. The if the uh, uh, the elect are scarcely gonna be saved, man. All right, go ahead if if you got that, Malak. So, you want me to start above? Yeah, go ahead and start above. Right. This is the book of First Peter chapter four and verse seventeen. Mm -hmm. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So really, judgment is going to start at Israel. All right, that's why a lot of Jacob is going to die off in Jacob's trouble. They're going to be coming in guns blazing. Jake, a lot of Jake going to be getting sent off to the draft. A lot of Jake just going to be getting gunned down. They're just going to come, come guns blazing, you know? So judgment must begin at the house of Israel. The house of Israel is who? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. You are the Israelites. When judgment comes, it's coming for you niggas first. All right? Go ahead. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Hashem El Shah? And ultimately, it's going to be utter destruction. Nukes, okay. If you don't obey the gospel of the Most High, you're ultimately you're just gonna perish. All right, go ahead, my luck. Verse eighteen. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, if the righteous what? If the righteous scarcely be saved, if the righteous scarcely be saved. Hey, if we be of the elect, the hopeful elect, Yahweh Shai Let's say we're of the elect, Baba Kusha. We're gonna scarcely be saved, meaning barely make it out. Brothers going to be here, you know, wherever you are on earth, you already rejected the karagma. You already, you know, you're fighting for your life. You're running away. You're getting persecuted. And the day of the Lord comes and you see the nukes coming. At that moment, you're still on the ground. You're like, yo, you me? You, you're praying. You're of hope. And then if you're of the elect, the Lord is going to come at the last second. He's going to beam you up. And next thing you know, you're going to be looking down. And you're going to see everything on fire, man. The lake of fire, man. You're going to see that, um... As it says in Revelation, the uh, glass mingled with fire, you know, that's going to be a beautiful sight. That's the victory. At that, Hey, that's when we get to start living, brothers. That's when we're going to be set up on high, man. And we're going to come back down and we're going to enslave the rest of the earth, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go oh, into captivity, good. man. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword, man. All right. Was that, was that it on that? No. Go ahead. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Mm. Where shall the ungodly and the, the sinner appear? If the righteous is barely going to make it out, as the scriptures tell you in Wisdom of Solomon uh, 5, the strangeness of our salvation, our enemies are going to beheld us go up. And we're going to scarcely be saved. By the time we in the chariots, mm -hmm. these people are going to be melted already. They're already going to be on fire. That's how it's going to be simultaneously, man. By the time the elect is into the chariots, people are going to be on fire on, on earth already, man. Scarcely be saved. That's, that's, the, that's the dreadful day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why we, we, we got to be on track, man. Brothers got to, you can't lean to the right, lean to the left. Stay on the path. 
Stay on the path, man. You know, brothers have been blessed with this truth. Right now, we, we have the grace and mercy of Yahweh El Shai. If we endure to the end, there's a high chance we're of the elect, brothers. That's if we endure to the end. And as the scriptures say, no man knows. You know, we can't make ourselves of the elect. We can't say, oh, I'm the elect. I'm the elect. We don't know. We got to endure through Jacob's trouble. All hell hasn't even broke out yet, man. So we got to wait until all the way to the end. When you're in the chariot and you get crowned by Yahweh Shai, that's when you can say, damn, yo, I'm... That's when I'm I'm of the elect, you know, and we're praying. We're praying. We make it, man. Prisoners of hope, as the scriptures say, prisoners of hope. And our hope is that we make it. We want to make it to the end. Our hope is not that we get cut off. Our hope is not that we die. We don't make it. No, our hope is that we make it all the way to the end and we meet our Lord, Yahweh Shai, in the clouds, man. All right, brother, you got any precepts? I got a precept. Go ahead, my life. Like we were saying, this is Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half. Mm -hmm. The spirit Which of three days and a half, that's 350 years. Okay, going into the time that we were, you know, dead asleep. All right, dead asleep, man. Go ahead, up. And after the three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yep, great fear fell upon them which saw them. And it starts with uh, High Priest Ariah. All right. I mean, Abba Bivens, yeah, Abba Bivens, you know, but and then you had High Priest Arya, you had, you know, Yaquab, King Masha, and then you got our elders and their elders, you know, but it all started with Abba Bivens. OK, which Abba Bivens is John, uh, uh, the Baptist. John the Baptist coming back. All right. Which was prophecy. That was prophecy to happen, man. And after that, 350 years, you know, that's when uh, ultimately we started getting this this truth back, man. All right, mm -hmm. around what, what was it, 1969, 1970? Yeah. You know, when we started getting this truth back, man. You know, go ahead, Malak. And it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they send it up to heaven in a cloud. And they heard a great, so you saw how simultaneously things, switch. things switched. Okay, read that again from the top. It's Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Go ahead. And their enemies beheld them. And their enemies beheld them. That that cloud is what the world deems to be so-called UFOs. A lot of UFO sightings have been coming out too. Mm -hmm. The clouds of heaven are the chariots of the Most High God. Okay, the vehicles of our salvation. Right, that's how we're going to get at, make it out of here, man. You know, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back with a, a giant father ship. He's coming back with the ships, the chariots. And brothers are going to be beamed into the chariot, beamed up into the clouds, so to say. And the scriptures say their enemy beheld them. Going to have your fucking boss like, damn, yo, is that, is that such and such? And you getting lifted up into the clouds. And next thing you know, nukes is coming right behind. You know, that, hey, that's ultimate judgment. That's why, brothers, you don't got to fight for yourself, man. The scriptures say, vengeance belongeth unto you. How is shy, man? That's right. Let the, the, the Lord can do way better than you can do. You know, sometimes you see a damn devil, you're like, fuck, I want to just, okay. <clears throat> you start cracking your fingers and shit, get mad. You know, you want to just beat his ass or some shit. Hey, man, let him, let him have it, man. Turn the other cheek, so to say. Because vengeance belongs to Yahweh Shot, man. What the Lord can do is way better than what any of us can do, man. That's right. All right? And we're going to see it. At the end. If we of the elect, Yahweh Shot Rajah Zah, we're of the hopeful elect. We up in the clouds, and we're going to see. We're going to see all this take place, man. The Lord said, only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, man. The Lord said, look, not only am I going to fuck these people up, I want you to see it. I want you to see me fuck them up, man. Mm -hmm. I want you to see how bad I'm going to do these people for what they did to y'all. All the turmoil, all the rape, the murder, all the times that brothers had to go in slavery. The Lord said, look, man, they, they not, they're not going to get the last laugh. I, I'm going to get the last laugh. At the end of the day, Yahweh Shai himself is going to be the one to get the last laugh, man. The ones, think about Yahweh Shai said, uh, all eyes shall see him, even those that pierced him. Those same damn Romans that were on earth that pierced our Lord, they're here today. Come. They got to receive their judgment. That's their right. judgment is a nuke. That's, right. That's their judgment. Okay, the same Romans that pierced our Lord when he was on the cross, they got to eat a nuke. And the Lord said, look, I want you to see what I'm going to do to these guys, man. I want you to see it. All right? I love Christ. And it says, um, 
they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And, you know, only the elect is going to hear that voice, man. Reminds me of, you know, Polar Express. He going, only he could hear that bell. Everybody right. else couldn't hear that bell, you know. The, the elect. Uh, Revelation uh, 14. No man could learn that song but, but the, the 144,000 that were redeemed from the earth. No man can learn this song. That's why you go out to the camp, brothers, screaming at the top of their lungs, repent. You know, the Lord's about to come back. World War Three, the micro, C-H-I-P. You know, and Jake just, la, 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 la. And fucking la, la, land, man. But guess what? It's because the Lord got a deaf angel like this. Hear no evil, see no evil, man. <laughs> you know, blind as hell. Kind of, and reading on, it says, Revelation 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. Come up hither. Okay, brother's actually going to hear that, man. You have the elect, you're going to hear that, man. Go ahead. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Mm -hmm. And the same hour. Was, in the same hour, simultaneously, go ahead. Was there a great earthquake. In the same hour, was there a great earthquake. How is that great earthquake going to be caused? By the ICBMs. Okay, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay, nuclear warheads, man. Nuclear fire. It's going to make Hiroshima and Nagasaki look like a fucking pea shooter. You know, like a fucking raindrop. What these nukes are about to do, man, it's going to utterly destroy America. The whole land of America is going to be engulfed in flames, man. It's literally, when John the Revelator saw the vision, he described it as a lake of fire. All right, John the Revelator, he's of the elect. He's on earth. He's prophesying in these last days, and he's going to get the reward of being up in the heavens and, and seeing that lake of fire, man. All right, the Lord showed him that vision, man. Put him in like a, a, a hologram, so to say, man. You know, showed him, showed him that vision, man. And guess what? Brothers, this is the craziest part about all of this is brothers is actually going to see this happen. That's right. We're not just speaking this. It's not just something we're talking about, like just to... So, wow, wow, wow. No, we're actually going to see this shit happen, man. God, God uh, uh, if I may add, mm -hmm. the, uh, the prophets of old is, uh, uh, like decided to see these things that we're about to see. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and really, you know, that we're the prophets of old from back then, you know, like like regenerated. Yep, yep, yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? So we're going to see everything like the Lord has said, man, and everything is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, just to touch on his brother's point, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Right. The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the same prophets that we read about, uh, you know, um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Isaiah, Isaiah, Zephaniah, Samuel, Samuel Peter, Peter uh, Ezra, Paul. Ezekiel, Paul, Daniel. When we read it, we were reading out these scriptures. Guess what? Those men are back on this earth today to receive their judgment too. Everybody's about to receive their judgment, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You're going to receive for what you've done in your body, whether it be good, whether it be evil. If you're of the elect, you're going to receive the judgment of being with Yahweh Shai, toasting some wine with him, him crowning you, you seeing the lake of fire, you getting a new body, spiritual power, coming down, enslaving the whole earth. This is about to happen, brothers. This is the joy. This is why it's like nothing fucking matters in this life, bro. That's right. The hell you catch, this little shit you go through at your job, fucking brush it off your shoulder, man. Because the Lord has way better things promised for you, brothers, man. That's right. For you sisters too, man. Lord has way better days ahead of us. This ain't shit compared to about what we're about to get, you know. Uh, even us being able to have the name of the Lord... You you uh, you able to go to sleep and pray, for bro? That's a fucking blessing in these last days, man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. To know the name of the Lord, man. Like, damn, bro. The Lord really loves us, man. All right. Kind, you know. Hey, faith was made in the womb. Like, yeah. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Hey, the name is a secret which is not given on to many, man. That's it. You know, it's been manifested to us. Hey, bro. They how about Shimmy Al Shai that we have that name, man. That's it. That name matters. That's it. What? It, well, what does the scripture say? The elect shall, shall praise, praise his, his holy name. name. The elect shall praise his holy name. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say, what is his name and what, what is, is his, his son's, son's name, name if, if thou, thou canst tell. tell. If you can't, hey, if you don't know the name of the Lord, it's not looking good. Acts 
uh, 4, 4 and 12. 12. Uh, none other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. If you don't got the name of the Lord, your ass is grass. And that grass going to be on fire soon, man. That's right. All right? This shit is all about to melt, man. You got IUIC playing with the name of the Lord, man. All right? So, you know, calling on Jesus Christ. Most high in Christ, blessed. That's not the name of the Lord. Well, if, if you're saying that when the Lord comes back, it's not going to be good for you, man. Yeah, man. They're going to die in Jesus' name, bro. They're going to die in Jesus' name, just like that. You know? And that's sad, man. But, hey, and that's not to say, you know, you don't, you might, not to say that there's not members of the elect in these other camps. You're going to have members of the elect from all these different camps. But guess what? They're going to have the right doctrine. They're going to be calling on the name. They're going to be of one mind, of one spirit, one accord, man. All right? And kind of, you know, to go into that word holy means separate, man. So, hey, the Lord's name is very powerful and it was separate, man. The Lord always reiterates his name in the scriptures, man, because it's important. Yep. It's very important. It's number one. Number one. Even when uh, Moses, Moses asked the Lord, what am I going to tell this great people? He said, Yahweh. Okay. I am that I am. Which really when Moses spoke it to the children of Israel, he spoke it in third person. He is that he is. He is. He exists. Yahweh. Yah means he. Hawa means to be or to exist. Okay? Yahweh. He is to be. And then you have Yahweh Shai. Those are the greatest names on earth. That's right. What name is above Yahweh? In the there's, universe. There's only one. There's only one Yahweh. That's right. And we got that name. There's only one Yahweh. All right? And we 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 have a relationship with his only begotten son, man. You know, that's that's more than this world can offer. Scriptures say wisdom is far um, more valuable than rubies. You know, brothers could have made it in this world. Brothers could have had fucking uh, Lambos, and you know, some brothers was ball could have been ball players, soccer players, you know, artists. But nothing, none of that shit can compare to having the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, having this wisdom. Because when all else fails, Isaiah thirty three and six. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at our times. It's not going to be your fucking Lambo. Your Lambo is going to be on fire soon. All right? These damn rappers, man, they, they, they done. They out of there. That's why they dying in mass numbers. Esau getting rid of their ass. He said, you know what, man? We don't need these fucking monkeys no more. Monkeys. <laughs> That's all they are. They're pawns, man. All right? No, I'm going to continue this. Go ahead. Real quick. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 13. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. In the same hour, so the simultaneously as the elect are gathered up, beamed into the cloud, in the same hour was there a great earthquake. The great earthquake is going to be caused by the nuclear missiles. And it said the tenth part of the city fell. All right? The tenth part of the city is going into America. Okay? America is the tenth part of the city, which America is broken into ten FEMA regions. So when they come down with this martial law, they're going to have 10 different FEMA regions that makes up of America. All right. And 10 also marks completion. You know, so it's talking about the complete the completion of America is going to be destroyed, man. The 10th part of the city, these 10 FEMA regions, America, all going to be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000. Seven represents completion as well. 7,000. Does that mean there's only going to be 7,000 people that die? No, man. 7,000 means a complete number. It's going to be millions, hundreds of millions. Okay, the population in America is something like 330 million or something like that in America alone. All of that's going to be gone. That's right. Aside from the elect. They all going to melt here, man. Men, women, children. Hey, children. Hey, the scriptures say their eyes shall not spare children. All right? Let me see if I can find that. Uh, and also 2 Chronicles 15, 13. Let me grab this real quick. Right. Going into the nuclear missiles. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 18. It says, Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Hmm. Their bows shall also dash the young men to pieces. This is going into the nuclear missiles. All right? The prophets described the nukes as arrows. Okay, and an arrow, you can't just, you know, have an arrow without the bow. The bow is the delivery system, okay? 
That's what gives the arrow the power. All right. It says their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children. So when these nukes come down, it's not just going to stop at a newborn baby and say, oh, how cute. No, it's going to fucking dash it to pieces, man. If that child is not of the elect, that child's going to melt too. And we brought the scripture out earlier, whoever perished being innocent. At the end of the day, that was that child's judgment from his past life. From what it did in his past life. That's, that's why Yahweh is to be feared, man. The Lord is generations ahead of you. Generations ahead of you, man. So you got Jake out here thinking that you're going to escape the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. And as the scriptures say, like you, you put your hand on a wall and a serpent bit you. You ran away from a lion. You met a bear. Ran away from the bear, and you put your hand on the wall, and then a serpent bit you, man. That's how the Lord going to be after two-thirds of you Jake's out here, man. All right? Brother uh, Shapa of the Twelve said, and a thousand FEMA camps, 30,000 electric guillotines. And that number, there's even more now. There's even more now. About three or four years ago, they came out with an article that said they had got 50,000 CHIPs and 50,000 smart guillotines, man, ready for chopping heads. Chopping heads. And we know what, what that's for, man. When they come down, they're going to come down like madmen sparing none. They're not going to just stop and say, hey, you know what? I like your videos, bro. No, they're going to fucking cast you into a camp if you're not of the elect, and even some of the elect. Some of the elect going to be beheaded. Martyrs of the truth. You know? That's that, hey, and that's that's a testimony unto the elect. But you're gonna have a lot of Jake that's gonna be delivered, and a lot of Jake that's gonna be beheaded. You know, uh, cause they got this shit ready, man. You know, but uh, go. go ahead, go ahead, finish that off. And it says, uh, and in, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the Most High of Heaven. The remnant were affrighted. So imagine you scarcely make it out. <laughs> You ain't just gonna be like, yeah, I made it up. No, you're gonna be, heart's gonna be pounding. She's gonna be like, yo, might be, might be tear, tears in your eye, you know? Yeah. You're gonna be affrighted, man. Hearing them alarms, nuclear yeah. alarms, seeing the missiles in the sky coming over. It's like, you know, like when you, uh, you, brother's been on roller coasters before, you know, when you get to the top of the roller coaster, your heart sink. Your heart sink. <laughs> you know, that, that heart sink, that's how it's gonna be, man. Scriptures say, all faces shall be turned to paleness. Even if you're of the elect, you know, you're still going to get that fucking, that fleshly moment of just like fear. Fear like, the Oh, Lord. shit. Your hair is going to stare up, stand up. You gonna, your heart's going to sink. You're not even going to know at the moment. Let's say you're of the elect. You're of the elect. You're not even going to know until you're into the chariot. So you're going to be hearing the sirens. Your heart's going to be sinking, hair standing up. Oh, yeah, I'm watching girl shot. And then by the, sk the, by the scares, the skinny old teeth. That's when you're going to make it out of here, man. Hey, that's ultimate deliverance, man. That's power, man. That's what we want. That's what we want. We hope. That's what we hope for, man. I'm not trying to be here when them nukes get shot off, man. Come on. I'm not trying to be on ground zero when them nukes hit ground zero, man. I'm trying to watch it from a bird's eye view, man, with, with our Lord. Yahweh Shai Ratazab, man. Because like we all, we just brought out multiple scriptures. Man's goings are of the Lord. You know, you, who, who has resisted his will? You can't. You can't resist the Lord's will. If you're of the elect, you're of the elect. If you're not of the elect, you're not of the elect. That's it. You know? And that's why, you know, the Lord has a spirit on us to be doing these lessons. That's why you got to pray. Yahweh Shai, take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. Please. Baba Kusha, you got to plead for your life in this thing, man. You got to plead that the Lord don't leave you out here, man. Because the Lord said, many shall say, Lord, Lord, in that day. The Lord's going to say, look, I, I ain't really know you, man. Because you ain't really know me. You know, you ain't, you, okay, yeah, you, and you got Jake, you know, they might be on fire with their videos, they might go out to camp, but behind closed doors, you still a nigga. You're not really doing the things of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. You know, at the end of the day, we all, we're not perfect, but there's Jake out here that they just, they just really just give in to Satan, man. You can't do that. You have to fight. You're in this thing as a conqueror, man. You have to conquer you have, you have to conquer any obstacle in front of you through the name of your how about me how was shot man and if you say that you can't it means that you don't truly believe in your power man so you don't believe in your how about me how was shot man
Because the Lord's not going to give you nothing that you can't overcome, man. All right? I got the priest here. Go ahead, Malak. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 26. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from Yahweh Shemel Shah. And okay. the ruler's favor goes into the rulers of this world right now, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And many seek his favor because they want his portion. All right, right now he rules the world, so he's able to grant you, you know, whatever he wants to give you. And that's based off of the wickedness that you do. That's why the most of our people that's on the top, all right, that seems like they're successful is because they're doing many wicked, abominable acts, okay? And that's what? It's going to bring you to your death and destruction because you're falling behind the ways of the wicked, man. And like they say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. That's right. So that's why people are seeking favor of the uh, the ruler, which is wickedness, you know, a wicked rulership. But guess what? You don't know your judgment, man. You know? So that's why everybody in this truth, we're seeking what? Mercy. We're seeking for deliverance. That's right. And the only way we're going to attain it is by doing righteousness, man. You know? That's it. And you know, ultimately, how are people going to seek favor from this, this devil when that karagma comes out? Because they want to stay a part of this system, man. You know, that, that's Jake trying to save their life. The scripture says, he that shall seek to save his life shall lose it. You got to be ready to lose your life. You got to be ready to say, F this system. F all this shit. I'm done with all this. I don't even like it here. I'm ready to go. That's the spirit you got to be in. You can't be trying to hold on. Oh, but my night, I got a nice car. Oh, but, oh, but my job. Fuck all that shit, man. You know, Jake get weak behind his women. You know, his woman or whatever. But my woman, my woman took it. My, my, my woman made my child take it. Well, guess what? Both of their ass going to see a new. And if you want to take it with their ass, you're going to see one too, man. All right? That's the spirit we got to be in, man. Got to be ready to let go. Let it all go, man. That's right. And that's why you can't really hold on to, you know, the scriptures say, take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall ta take thought for the things of itself. Don't hold on to things that you already, you know, you made it past. Think about right now, too. Think about right now, what you're doing right here, right now, man. You don't you don't have control of tomorrow. And if something you went through already in the past happened, some bullshit, let it go. Cast off the mortal thoughts. Be here right now, man. All right? It's the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek Yahweh Shemel Shai, God of Israel, should be put to death. Mm. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. You see that? So if you don't want to seek your help, Bashi me how a shot, ultimately you're going to be put to death. All right? Whether small or great, whether man, man or woman. The Lord is not a respect to persons, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's not going to stop at a woman and say, damn, she look good. I'm not, I'm not going to judge her because she look. No, if you're if you a wicked woman, that's it. Yeah. That's it. You know? Same with men. You know? Oh, the Lord ain't going to stop at you and say, yo, I like his shoes. He got cool shoes. No, man. If you're a wicked nigga... You a two-third, the Lord gonna judge your ass, man. Right. That's it. You know, Jake loves shoes. Jake fucking shoe heads nowadays, man. They'll fucking die behind them Jordans, man. It happens daily. Jake dying behind Jordans, man. Real life. Behind a box of shoes, man. And that's why two-thirds of our people, they just gonna get cut off. They gonna die, man. All right? Kind of also links with Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. You know, go through the city of Jerusalem and mark them. Let me just grab yeah, that. grab that, grab, grab that, because we need that, you know? You know, the Lord is setting a mark, and that mark is not linked to the mark in uh, Revelation 13, man, for you bozos out there, man, you false prophets that are adding to that prophecy, man. That This mark is not talking about the mark in Revelation, all right? Go ahead, Malachi. So I'm going to start off a little bit. This is Ezekiel 9 and 2. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lived toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. Mm -hmm. And one man among them was clothed with linen, mm -hmm. with a rider's inkhorn by his side. Yeah, the rider's inkhorn, being able to, you know, give you this truth. Go ahead. And they went in and stood beside the breast. Which these are angels, man. Right. Okay. These are angels. All right. Go ahead. And stood beside the brass and altar. And the glory of the Most High of Israel. So real quick, you have the angel with the writer's ink. You know, there's actually an angel out here that's unlocking, brothers. Yep. So when you came into this truth and you learned the name of the Lord, that was an angel was literally with you, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and literally unlocked you to this truth, man. 
You know, it's like it's like your brain has a key around it and you got to get that that unlock, you know, to get to the Holy Spirit. All right. Go ahead. Uh, let's read it back again. So mm -hmm. this is as every man, a slaughter weapon in his hand. So this angel with a slaughter weapon. And then it says, and one man among them was clothed with linen with a writer's inkhorn by his side. So there's one that locking you and one that's going to destroy you. And it says, and they went in and stood beside the brass and altar. And the glory of the Most High of Israel was gone up from the cherubim, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So that's what that angel does. Angel with the writer's inkhorn, right? He he's going through the midst of the city right now as we speak, and he's putting a mark upon the uh, the elect. Okay, the ones that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, up. And Jerusalem's a people for it's a place. Yep. Okay, and it reads on verse five. And to the others he said, "In my hearing, go after, go ye after him through the city and smite." And do what? And smite. Right. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Right. So if you don't have that that uh, mark of exemption, the Lord's not going to uh, spare you, man. That the wall. The what wall. was it? The wall. The wall? Yeah. Kind the wall. Okay. That's the word for mark. All right. The wall. All right. To exempt you from judgment. Go ahead. Which is not the same mark of karagma in the Greek over there in Revelation. 13. Brothers got to rightly divide the word, man. Don't be, la don't be a lazy servant, man. You see Mark here, you see Mark here. Oh, it's the same thing. No, man. That's what them Christians do. That's what them Christians do, right? They see words and they just, it's the same. And that's why, you know, you got to study words, man. Go ahead, Doc. It says, slay utterly old and young, mm. both maids and little children mm. and women. And women. Go ahead. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. And then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. You see that? So ultimately, you know, if you don't have this this mark of exemption, you're going to be slave. They like say slave utterly both old and young, amazing women, women, women. So you women ain't going get, to get saved out of here just for looking good, man. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to have members of the elect ladies. There are women that's going to be saved. All right, women that have repented, they came back to Yahweh Bashmi Awashad. They're humble, you know. They dress modestly. These women, there's women that's gonna be saved too, man. All right. Um, I have this video about the nuclear war, about what Biden says to it. Kai, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll close out with that. We'll no. close out with that. Let's percent. grab some more more presets. We'll go to the comment board and we'll close it out. Go ahead. All right, this is Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy Enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. So, read that again, Baba Pusha. Start from the top. Yep. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Right, which is going into the chariots. Okay, the Lord said, come, my people, enter into thy chambers. Okay, the chambers represent the chariots. Go ahead up. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Hide thyself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. So the elect going to be in that chariot. As the indignation is taking place down here, you got people burning and melting. Hey, we going we to be, Lord willing, we of the elect, we going to be calling upon the name of the Lord. Shalom, brother. So Yo, bless me, I'll shout out. All right. Was that it on that? Go ahead. Going down to verse 21. For behold, the Lord Yahweh coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Yeah, so the Lord is going to come out of his place. All right, right now the Lord is at the right hand of the Father. So the Lord literally going to crack that sky. He's going to come through a portal, so to say. You know, going to split this, crack the sky, you know, and, and judge the inhabitants of the, of the earth, man. Go ahead, up. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Mm. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, Go ahead, my lot. This is uh, 2 Ezra 13 and 29. Behold, the days come 
when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Hey, real quick, I got this comment. It says, Zachary W., do you think World War III will happen tomorrow? No, man. Oh, oh the, the Krogman no. needs to come first. It's not going to happen tomorrow because we, we there's prophecy that has to happen first. Brother brought out a scripture earlier. The end is not yet. But is World War III going to happen? Yes. yes. In your lifetime? Yes. yes. Very the, soon. Last generation. Once you start seeing people out here getting Krogman, getting uh, 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 CHIPs in their hand, digital tags, walking around with digital tags, you go to the grocery store, you got to buy stuff by swiping your hand. That's when you know, okay, maybe the end going to come tomorrow. <laughs> you know, God. this could be today. You know, but is it going to come tomorrow? No, it's not going to come tomorrow. You know, but right now we're hearing rumors of wars, man. All right, what's today's date? Uh, oh, Friday, 23rd. September 23, 23rd, uh, 23rd, 2022, year of Yahweh just so we got it listed. Okay, the, the, the end's not going to come September 24th. But they are talking about doing some shit tomorrow. Oh, yeah. They are talking about doing some shit tomorrow, the 24th. We don't know what it is. We just got to wait and see, man. But guess what? World War Three is coming. And Zach, if you're an Edomite, it's not looking good, my man. <laughs> right. It's not looking good. There's no chance of salvation for you, man. And the Edomites today are the so-called white men, women, and child. All mm -hmm. right? If you're, just, if you're a, a European, you know, by the seat of your father, it's not looking good, man. Right. You're going you're gonna to see these nukes. All right? And the end of the world, the world's not going to blow up. The world, the scriptures say the world's still going to stay. It's going to be an end of an age. Right. The Esau is the one that's ruling the so-called white man. That age is going to be destroyed. And us Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're going to be on top and rule forever. That's it. Starting with the elect. Starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. And America is going to be wiped clean. America as a whole, this whole infrastructure from, from New York to California, California to Florida, the whole infrastructure of America is going to be melted, going to be destroyed. All right, got some. He said, "Hey, Shal Shalom Shapa of the Twelve. We're gonna grab some of your scriptures as well." It said, "Russia. What do he say? Russia began partial mobilization." Yeah, man, we see this. This is all rumors of wars, man. You know, but like I said, there's still prophecy that has to take place before it happens. But World War Three is biblical prophecy. It's gonna happen. These nations, they got nukes. They're not just gonna hang them up on the wall and take pictures next to them. Nah, they gonna shoot them, them bitches soon, man. All right. Go ahead and look. This is uh, 2 Ezra 13 and 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Deliver who? The elect. Israel. Okay? The nation of Israel. Go ahead. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another. Mm. One city against another. One place against another. One, one people against another mm -hmm. and one realm against another. One realm against another because you also want to have the war in heaven. Okay? Where you got the so-called UFOs, the chariots, and the space force fighting up there, man. Okay? It's going to be a first round knockout. All right? The Lord going to knock Esau out cold, man. Mm -hmm. First round. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy killing, man. All right? But you're also going to have in the midst of the Karagma coming out, you're going to have 2nd Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 16 all taking place. You're going to have the, uh, the, you know, the civil wars, people standing up with swords in their hands, fighting against each other with the guns. You know, it's going to be a war zone. Like they came out with that game, Call of Duty Warzone. Hey, play the game, man. Your brothers have played the game. That's how it's going to be in America, man. You know, you're going to have children out here with AK-47s, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Esau already training his children. You see these videos of Edomites. With their, their children hitting every mark, you know. With pink glocks. Pink, they got, imagine dying with pink glocks, man. You know, hey, that's, that's what's about to come, man. Great death is coming to this place, man. All right? Uh, want me to continue? Uh, yeah, yeah, go time. ahead. It says, and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass.